Hello everyone, I'm Nadia Karbaskan and currently I'm working here at the University of Lugano in Switzerland as a postdoctoral researcher. I've recently graduated with a PhD from the same university. I did PhD in communication sciences. Before that, I have done masters in international tourism and tourism economics. When we talk about e-learning, e-tourism, e-commerce, what does this term e suggest? It actually suggests the use of information communication technologies, so the new technologies which have started to appear in the last, let's say, 20 years for different types of business activities. In my case, I have looked at how those technologies are being used for the education and training within the business-to-business -business environment. How ministries of tourism globally are using e-learning platforms in order to give education, training and certification to their travel trade partners, basically to the travel agents that are selling their specific tourism destinations. And in that sense, I have looked at both the perspective of the supply side on what tourism destinations has, have an offer uh, in terms of the online training courses. And at the same time, I have looked at how travel agents globally are perceiving this training option, as well as what are the motivations for undertaking e-learning courses about tourism destinations. In your paper, you mentioned that e-learning is a convenient way of training uh, especially in the geographically isolated areas. Could you elaborate on that? Yeah, we've seen uh, that travel agents which are based in the geographically isolated regions, they are more um, motivated to use uh, online training courses as that's one of the opportunities they have to upgrade their knowledge. Taking into consideration the fact that, that they are not able to travel all the time for the in-presence training sessions which are organized by the destination management organizations and the market representatives, but most of those training courses are happening uh, in the uh, capital cities or in big cities. And um, yeah, at the same time travel agents believe that that's a convenient way for them to um, mm -hmm. um, undertake training activities as they're able to study for instance from their office when they have no clients or at home when they have some free um, minutes, let's say. I'm currently doing my postdoc here at the University of Lugano, uh, where I continue researching on the e-learning and tourism. And actually the last three years and a half were very helpful both in terms of meeting industry representatives and understanding what are their needs in terms of the training and education and certification. Um, at the same time, I was able to met, meet several uh, researchers globally who gave me an input on both the methodology and interpretation of my results. And yeah, hopefully um, I will be able to do several research collaborations with uh, the people I have met during the last years, also thanks to the PhD project. I'm serving IFID as a general secretary um, and I'm helping the board and the president on um, sponsorships and on spreading uh, the voice about the community as well as giving and providing more um, benefits to the members of the community. And we're hosting as well the next center conference here in Lugano which I'm glad to contribute in the organization.